Hi, Leo. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for July. I hope everybody is well. I want to take a second to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everybody out there. So, Leo, if you find that it's not resonating with you, check your other signs and placements. See if they resonate better. Keep in mind that the energy of a monthly reading is predictive in nature. So, if these events aren't occurring right now, they may occur in the next few weeks. And as always, Leo, please do not try to force yourself into a reading that is really just not for you. All right, so let's get started. Spirit, what would you like Leo to know for the month of July? Well, that was fast. All right, Ten of Wands. So some burdens are, are being lifted here. I know that's right. I, everybody wants burdens lifted. So <laughs> it looks like you've been feeling a bit overwhelmed. Um, it looks like, uh, you may not have known what direction to go in, just feeling like you had a lot of stuff on you. It is crossed with the Empress in reverse, so this could be financially related, or it could be, um, with regard to somebody not nurturing a relationship, but it's, it's a sense of poverty, whether it's emotional or whether it is, you know, with regard to money. There's also a need for you to um, nurture yourself here in order to resolve the problems that are at hand. And be very careful about your thinking because, you know, our thoughts create our reality. And you don't want to be in a, a negative mindset trying to manifest. Now, in the past, we have the Page of Cups in the reverse. Um, this is recent past. And it could be that you had uh, somebody new that things didn't work out with. Or there could have been a false beginning with somebody else. Um, I do feel like those problems are ending, though. So let me see what's underlying this. The Queen of Cups. Nice energy. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Cups is that, you know, you are open to love. You want love in your life. You're open to love, but you're also going to be very choosy about it. It's not like you're going to just take the first thing that comes along. Um, you're, you don't have a thirsty attitude here. You, um, you're being very careful with love, but I do feel that you're open to it. So let me see what's on your mind. Show me what's on Leo's mind. All right, so somebody that you may have had a missed opportunity with, I feel like um, you may, there's somebody here, either either somebody new or a new beginning that didn't work out, um, but I feel like you've learned a lot from the past. So you're, you're trying to process past lessons, trying to figure things out, but you are highly thinking about love as well. Let me see how, um, let me see July. All right, so you're waiting for your ships to come in. Yeah, you're waiting to see what's going to happen here. You're waiting for your ships to come in. I do feel like you're avoiding as many problems as you can. Um, you, but those problems are resolving. So let's see how you're showing up. Ace of Pentacles, beautiful energy. Some of you could get a windfall of money. Um, or there could be something here to do with a brand new stable beginning. Let me see the energy coming towards you. The Hierophant you could be dealing with a Taurus or have a Taurus coming towards you, but that's commitment. In Spirit's Advice, this could also be an institution for some of you. In Spirit's Advice, we have the Eight of Wands reversed. So there's something to do with blocked energy. Um, this could be a warning with regard to travel as well or communication. But there's something here that's being blocked, and we'll clarify that. Let me see your outcome at the end of July. Page of Pentacles reverse. So there's something to do with an offer that you may be refusing or it hasn't quite come through yet. So we'll clarify that again. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands reversed. You could have been in a conflict with somebody. There could have been competition um, with regard to love because that's what's predominantly on your mind. 
Um, but what I'm seeing here is that conflict is ending. Um, and if there's competition, that looks to be ending as well. You've been waiting for these problems to resolve. I also feel like you've been waiting for um, commitment with somebody. But th something here um, was not being nurtured. I do feel like you've pulled your energy back as well. Because I, I see you being very thoughtful with regard to love. It's on your mind a lot, but you're you're not just giving your cup of love to just anyone. So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Ten of Wands here? All right, Six of Coins reversed. So there was an unequal give and take. Yes, not only was somebody not nurturing the connection, but there was an unequal give and take here. Somebody was behaving selfishly. Why is the Empress in reverse? You may feel very disrespected by this person. Yeah, King of Cups reverse. So this is somebody you feel is a divine counterpart to you, but you feel that this person is being emotionally manipulative or emotionally unavailable. There's a sense that, I mean, it, it is a selfish energy, I have to admit. Because this person's not nurturing the connection. Yeah, they're not nurturing it. It's like you're giving more than they are. Um, and it's a selfish energy here. But they do see you and they do have feelings for you. So I'm not sure what the problem is. Um, I can tell you that this person makes you feel disrespected though. Let me see why the Page of Cups is in the reverse. Okay, so it looks like there was a false beginning here, but you've both learned a lot of lessons. There's regrets for an offer that wasn't given or an offer that was turned down. Somebody's regretting that. I feel like you've learned a lot from this. You went through a period of, of just deep sadness here, but I, I feel like you went into an action mode where you were looking for answers and... For a period of time, you just felt like there was no love around you. But now you're starting to see that, you know, there is love around you. But I feel like you're going to be very careful who you, you give your cup of love to. There's been a lot of loss in this as well. I don't know what that is. All right. Um, let's see why this Queen of Cups is here. Oh, so you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting for love. You're tired of waiting for this King of Cups to get their act together. Yeah, you're tired of waiting for that. And that's why all this is happening. So you may be looking to see, are there other offers as well? I feel like you're open to other offers, but that's not the offer you really want. It's like you're beginning to open your, your mind and your heart to that, but it's not what you're really wanting. Let's see why the Four of Cups is in reverse. Yeah, you want success in love. And you're willing to do whatever it takes. So let's see July for you. Spirit, what, show me July for Leo. Show me July for Leo. All right, let's see what we've got here, Leo. All right, we have the hangman in reverse. We have the page of wands reversed. Temperance. The king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Four of swords reversed. King of Wands reversed. So you've got more people around you. <laughs> you've got a lot of people around you. Um, could be a, a another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. Um, the Magician. Eight of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune in the upright. And I really like that coming out beside the Magician. Eight of coins reversed the fool. 
and the Ten of Cups reversed. Okay, so I, I see that you're moving into the month of July and you're waiting for something. So you're waiting for these problems to resolve. You're waiting for commitment. Now, in the first week of July, I feel like you get tired of waiting. There's something here that you begin to see very clearly. I don't think you and you like it. I think it's something that hasn't been spoken, but you're you're seeing it. So you're you're seeing beyond somebody's words. Um, with the page of wands reverse, it feels like it's kind of bad news. You don't like it. You could be dealing with somebody who pitches temper tantrums too. Page of wands in the reverse is somebody who, when they don't get their way, they just throw a little tantrum. Um, you know, they have a little fit. So you could be seeing this person cl more clearly now. Um, if this is a person, I do feel like you are going through an awakening or an enlightenment because you've got the hangman in reverse and you've got, um, temperance here. Both of those are cards of awakening of enlightenment. And I do feel like you're being very honest with yourself. Um, there's a healing energy that is here. It's like in the first week, you get some bad news, but you don't take that bad news the way you would have in the past. And so you're seeing things, you're seeing things in the world differently. You're seeing everything differently somehow. And it's because of this awakening. It's because of an honesty that you have, you've come about. I do feel like your emotions are balancing out. There's something here about a deep awakening though in the first week or and those are typically processes so but but I do see that because of this awakening you're you view something here that in the past I feel like you would have been feeling like you overwhelmed by you're looking at it differently now in the second week of July I see you still doing some healing I do see you talking with somebody could be an air sign, could be a, another fire sign, but I see you being very honest with this person, very direct with this person. This could be somebody you haven't talked to in a while. Um, I still see you balancing out your energies in the second week, and I see you um, coming out of a resting phase, though. It's like uh, there's communication, and you're coming out of a resting phase. Now, the person that you're dealing with could be a little bit of a, a shady character. I have to tell you this because King of Wands in the reverse is somebody that can be very charming when they want to be, but when they don't want to be, they can be nasty and mean. They can be very cutting with their words and very manipulative. Um, this is I feel like if that is the case for you, though, this would be somebody that you are not currently communicating with, and then you, you strike up communication after a break. So just take it as it resonates for you. Um, I am seeing that you are manifesting this communication, though, and you're not going to have to do anything for that to come through. It does appear to me like somebody, because your energy, your energy is like, so high it's like top-notch energy because you've worked on yourself and you're doing so much healing but the person you're dealing with i feel like they're they're up and down up and down they're in their head a lot you know small things kind of tick them off and then they come come back and they communicate clearly and then they they go into this mean mode it's like they're all over the place whereas you are like it's like this awakening energy, this healing energy, you're manifesting, good karma's coming towards you. I mean, you've got such really nice energy. So let me go back though. Um, towards the end of the month, I do feel like you're manifesting something. You're manifesting things to move forward. You're manifesting things to move in a positive direction. Be careful that you're not dipping into the overthinking or the worry because I do see a little bit of that, and you don't want to manifest from that energy. Um, I am seeing by the by the end of the third week, going into the fourth week, it's like your your luck changes. 
It's like your look magically changes. So much so that it's a surprise to you. There's something here in that third week, third, the end of the third week, going into the fourth week, that you didn't think was going to work out. You're worried, you're concerned about it, and then all of a sudden, poof, you know, there's a new beginning. Now, it could be a new beginning with a person, or you. this could be any kind of a new beginning. I do feel like um, you're taking a leap of faith, though, but you're worried that it's not going to work out. I feel like everything is moving in your favor. So, there's a leap of faith you're taking, and you're doing it, you're doing it by faith. Now, I am a little concerned that I do see this Ten of Cups in the reverse, though. Um, and it could just be that your happily ever after is trying to come through. But the way it's lined up, I'm a little concerned about that because there's some unhappiness, a feeling of emotional discontent. And it is related to your fear that something's not working out, um, an overthinking energy. And it could also be related to you you jumping into something that you haven't really thoroughly looked at the details about that can cause some unhappiness down the road. So I want you to be very careful, especially around the end of the month, about jumping into things without really thinking about them, okay? Let's see if we can get some further information because I feel like there's something that is off and you, you perceive it to be all systems go because your energy is so high. This other person's energy, though, I feel like they go back and forth. They overthink things. Um, there's, you know, they're, they're not looking at the details of something. And it could cause a glitch in this. So, let's, let's see what else we get. Spirit, want to see Ace of Pentacles here. All right, we have the Six of Swords reversed, Seven of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is tough energy. So, there's a new beginning that's happening, but you're still focusing. You're still stuck on an energy of feeling like somebody um, left you out in the cold. They, they abandoned you. They rejected you. You feel like this person was sneaky. They snuck around. They were doing stuff, you know, behind your back or stuff that you you can't trust them. You feel that they're a bit deceitful. But it's attached to this energy here of rejection. And you haven't quite moved away from that. So this is why we see in, in the second week to the middle of the month this need to still continue to heal. And it is related to this King of Wands reverse. So... I feel like somebody did something deceitful, something sneaky here that made you feel very hurt and rejected, and you have not cleared that in your energy. Be sure you're not having this new beginning before that is cleared up, because I do see that you are you love this person. Um, you definitely have feelings. You feel like they're your counterpart. Let's see the energy coming towards you. Show me the energy coming towards Leah. All right, we have the Five of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups reversed. And we have the World. So, the, the person coming towards you could be a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or they could be a Taurus. This is somebody who is very conflicted in their feelings. Um, I do feel that they, again, it's that up and down energy. Um, they could be offering you some sort of commitment here, but they're very conflicted about that. There is a cycle that this person is ending, so a new cycle can begin. Also, be aware that if this is someone from your past, and it does look like it is for most of you, um, this person, you may have had a lot of conflict with this person, they're they're blaming you for that. Yeah, they they're blaming you. This is somebody who also, you know, may have introduced competition into this this connection, um, and that's where I'm getting this feeling of you being disrespected and rejected. But I will say that if that's the case, the conflict is ending. 
um, the emotional unavailability is ending and this person could be receiving advice from a tarot reader, a, a spiritualist, or perhaps just uh, somebody they highly respect, a minister possibly. They could be um, they could be receiving some advice in some capacity. I do feel like this person was emotionally unavailable. There was a lot of conflict here, but all of that is ending. There's a cycle ending here so that a new cycle can begin. And I do feel like healing is coming through. So this person could be making changes in their life and that's why you're seeing the up and down energy. Rarely do you see like people just change overnight. There's there's generally, you know, they'll make some changes but they can lapse back into old behaviors or old patterns. So that may be what we're seeing here. Let's see Spirit's advice. Why is the Eight of Wands reversed? I do like that they have the Hierophant in the upright. Because that tells me they're trying to, to come forward justly. Alright, so we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Hermit. And we have the Strength card. So, Spirit is saying that, you know, there's a new beginning here that is being blocked a little bit. Um, it could be because somebody is overthinking things. They're, they're um, you know, up in their head. They're, they're thinking, thinking. Somebody could have ghosted at some point. Um, but there's a lot of ego that I'm seeing as well. So, there's a new beginning, a passionate new beginning that is kind of being blocked right now because of somebody being up in their head or, or being in their ego. Um, Spirit is also saying that you need to focus on you, work on yourself. Be sure that you figure things out. You don't want to jump into this new beginning without, you know, really kind of giving it some consideration and working on yourself. But again, I see this new beginning happening here. Um, let me see your outcome. I'm hearing the more you put the work into yourself, the more within your power you're going to be. So we have the Nine of Swords reversed, we have the Eight of Cups reversed, and the Star reversed. So I can tell you that there is some sort of a karmic cycle or karmic lesson that's taking place here. Um, at the end of the month, I do see your concerns and worries kind of melting away. Um, you're still emotionally attached to something here. But I also feel like the person that you're emotionally attached to is kind of unbalanced emotionally. I'm seeing that in in the reading here. Um, I do see that you kind of have a have a difficult time trusting this person because of past behavior. I I definitely feel that they're trying to put an end to a cycle here that hasn't been very savory. But there's a new beginning. There's an offer that I don't feel like is going to come in by the end of July. I feel like that's what you're hoping for, but it doesn't work out that it comes through. And that's what's making you unhappy because you are manifesting this change. Um, you're manifesting things to move forward. Some of you, by the way, could be traveling. I'm seeing that in several places. So be careful if you are with the travel because um, there could be delays. But in any event, by the end of the month, there's this, this offer that's wanting to come through. I feel like it doesn't quite come through. And that's what's making you unhappy. It is because this person that you're dealing with, Leo, is unbalanced. They're unbalanced emotionally. And I feel like they have a tendency to say, oh, it's not going to work out. And they kind of give up. Um, Spirit is saying, though, that you're... Your perspective, because you have this awakening going on and you're elevating your vibration so much that your worries are going to melt away. You're giving up this energy of worry, concern, anxiety. You haven't walked away from this person. You're still emotionally attached to them, but I feel like you're not 
you're not worrying about it because you are working on you and you are, you know, creating this really good beginning for yourself, regardless of what happens with this person. So I think you're on the right track and it looks like really good energy to me. Bottom of the deck is the page of swords in the reverse. Um, that indicates as an underlying energy that there's something here that you don't see, you don't know. Um, so again, be careful with that because nobody likes surprises, right? All right, so let's clarify um, or let's see um, what kind of oracle we get. I am pulling for Leo. I like this deck. It's one of my favorite decks. It's a Foxfire deck. All right, it says number 32. Now, that condenses down to a five. Fives are generally about changes. It says find a place to withdraw to. Let me read that for you. Give me just a second. All right, it says, there are times when we must retreat from the world as it seems to be, for we are more caught up in its oppressions and illusions than we know, and in time we can lose that wilder part of our soul. The childlike part that draws nourishment from the natural world is overwhelmed at present, and if we do not attend to this inner wild one's needs, there will be a high price to pay. So when this card comes, know that the world in which we are tested again and again against harshness and endurance can only be borne by the finding of its antidote, a hidden place where we can go and replenish the wild child within us so they can come back to life in our everyday world once again. You will know the need of the need to do this when you have not felt happy, truly happy for some time or when what we call work dominates the precious moments of your life. It is when our mood sours and curls up and a quiet hostility and a shard of resentment have worked their bitter way into our souls. These are your signs that you need the blessings of retreat, of silence, of solitude, of safety and peace. There is too much in the world that you have felt you must endure. This card asks you to treat yourself with more sensitivity and to gift yourself regular time out from the hammer of the world. Whether this place is within through meditation or quiet contemplation or outside, a place where you can go and be for a time without criticism, know that you are not too thin-skinned, you are not weak, you are a delicate being and you must address the pain within through the finding of a safe space to bring the wild one, the strong one within back to life so it can take its place at the center of your beautiful existence once again. Let the kitsune guide you to a safe space. Do not neglect your own soul. Do not forsake your own precious self. You are a treasure, even in all your fragility, and you are loved beyond your dreams. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And, you know, I, I do feel that in the reading as well. You know, some of you guys were very disappointed, very overwhelmed. But I do see you really connecting to that inner child within you and healing yourself and really moving forward. I see this new beginning for you, even if it's not yet with this person. I know that things are not over between you and this person, though. And I do feel like they're beginning to make some changes as well. I feel like you may just be a little bit further along. So, you know, be sure that you're nurturing yourself here. We see it in Spirit's advice as well. All right? All right, Leo, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you resonated with this reading, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And until I see you in your next reading, namaste.